Hello, my name is Luca and I'm a Special Operations Combat Medic. You might remember me from the UFRO medical series that's been floating around. Today, I'm here to talk about the new Sitch tourniquet. But first, the why. We use tourniquets to stop massive bleeding, which is the first component in our march pause algorithm that's used in TCCC. We could die in a matter of minutes due to massive bleeding. So in combat, if you see bleeding from the limb, we put a tourniquet on it, high and tight. As mentioned earlier, today we're going to talk about the new Sitch tourniquet. I'm not going to talk about which tourniquets are best or worst. I'm just going to talk about if it works. And it does. The Sitch tourniquet is made out of quite durable material. The basic components, as the buckle and the windlass, is made out of aluminium instead of plastic. Special Velcro pattern that makes a stronger grip. If you're running out of strap or need extra hold strength, you can run the strap through the second loop of the buckle. Triangle for easy grab and to guide it through the holes. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, Giga was shot in the arm and now he needs to put a tourniquet on himself. He is putting it high and tight on the arm, cinching down to remove all the slack. Now a couple of turns and we stop the bleeding. We are undone. We still need to secure it. We grab the triangle and guide it through the hole to secure it. Now that this is done, we want to help our doc and right the time we apply the tourniquet. We can do that with a marker or even with a sharp object like the tip of a bullet. In this video, we want to show that the Sitch is quality made. We believe that the Sitch can stand up to any other tourniquet on the market and hold its own. To show that it's robust and strong enough, we decided to stress test it. Because the windows and the buckle are made out of aluminium instead of plastic, the Sitch tourniquet is very resistant to extreme temperatures, from minus 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. Since we don't have any snow here in Slovenia, we decided to freeze one for demonstration purposes. It's resistant to outside physical damage. can withstand high tensile forces. Now for the final test, let's see if the sitch is still working by applying it to a thick tie. Now as we proved that the sitch is grunt proof, I'll let you enjoy the rest of our fine videos as I enjoy my beer cold as my ex-girlfriend's heart. <laughs> 